Welcome to Live with Ryan and Andre. My name is Ryan Baudouin, your 2019 Chamber of Commerce Chairman. And Leadership Class 18. Oh yes, how, how could he forget? forget? I'm Andre Slisher, Leadership Class 20. Well, we're here today because we're getting ready to make a visit to... Card and View Assisted Living. Yes, and visit with one of our good friends, Miss Melissa Vincent, who is the Community Liaison. At liaison. Gordon View. Yeah, liaison. She will correct. <laughs> At Gordon View Assisted Living Facility. And she's also one of Ryan's Leadership Class 18 as well. How can you forget? That's an important part. We had a great time at Gordon View Assisted Living. You take a look for yourself. Today we're here with our interviewee, Miss Melissa Vincent, who is also Leadership Class 18. So, Melissa, we're here at Gordon View Assisted Living. Tell us a little bit about what you do. Okay, so I'm the community liaison here. Uh, I have been here almost four years, and what I do is go out into the community, um, talk to doctors, office, uh, just get everybody informed about um, Gordon View and our services here, what we provide for residents um, in the library. So Gordon View is an assisted living facility. Yes. What is it? assisted living? Exactly. Assisted living is when you need a little bit of extra help. Um, first of all, you don't want to be by yourself. Um, if you're falling, if you um, need help with cooking, or just any kind of assistance, um, we do that. We provide an apartment, we provide all your meals, we provide housekeeping. So you have the luxury of being here, making friends, drinking coffee, um, getting every advantage that you can, but just in a safe environment here and not being by yourself. And how long has Gordon View been a part of our community? Um, it's been here over 12 years. Yes, so it's been a, a good thing. Right. And so we all offer many different services to a full range of clientele. Tell us a little bit about Respite Stay. Okay, so Respite Stay um, is when you come here and temporary. So for example, if your family is going on vacation and you need a place to come uh, just for a little while, whether a week or a weekend or a month, then you come here, it's a furnished apartment. You don't have to bring anything but your clothes and just like you would at a hotel. Um, you get the luxury of having food and just all your meals prepared and everything here. And then when you are finished with your stay and your family comes back, then you can leave. Uh, we've also had people that have come to Gordon View as a respite stay and they have stayed permanently. Wow. So it's a, a, a little short mini vacation to see what you know it is being here without actually having all your furniture moved in the very beginning. That's a fantastic service. It's great. Um, I'm also aware that you offer a memory care community. What is we that? Do. So our memory care community is a locked community. Um, it's 12 apartments um, where people who are having issues just with maybe wandering or just need a little bit more physical care. It's a smaller community. It's 24 hour staffed. Um, we have um, all the activities and amenities that you can get in an assisted living. It's just a little smaller detailed. Um, you're, you're watched a little bit more closely. It's a little bit more intimate set. We check every hour. So um, it's just a great service for people that um, don't have anywhere to put mom, can't even them by themselves, and they're scared something can happen to them or leave their home. Which is great because there are a lot of times where with, with the elderly that we're concerned about things happening to them. Correct. So as long as they're in a safe Correct. area of the community, Correct. that they can still have all their yes. freedoms, yes. but not have the worry Correct. of something happening to them, like yeah. them getting on premises. Correct, correct. It's a great it's service. A great it's service. a great thing. Um, it stays full, so which is a needed thing here. So you've noticed that, um, and, and it's a, it's a worry free. So yeah. you don't have to worry about it. So it sounds it sounds like you have a lot of the different areas covered. You, know, you can come in, say, with respite stay, and like you said, you can just come to stay a week. Mm -hmm. Or if you had a hip surgery mm -hmm. and Correct. you live alone and you just want to come for six Correct. weeks and get some physical therapy. Yes. We actually had somebody that had knee surgery that came here for two weeks. Um, home health came here, saw about her for three days a week. Um, she recovered well, all her meals, we helped her with bathing, we helped her with everything that she could get in um, sort of a hospital setting, except the medical, of course, but we were here to help her with anything. If she needed anything, she got a call pendant, uh, she could press that. So, and then after that, she left. So she was home, she was better, and so she'll know that she can come again in case something would happen. 
what you now can taste a little bit of what Bartlett yeah. offers. And that way clients can come in and, and try it temporarily yes. to see how they like it, adjust yes. to the community, see with friends and other Correct. family members and possibly here. Correct. You know, before they have yeah. to make those decisions for them. A lot of them that come as rest would ended up staying permanent. It speaks yeah, a lot about Barton View, yeah. and it sounds like Barton View is the type of facility that not only gives their residents peace of mind, but their families too. Correct. It definitely is. Definitely. We love it here. So, what would you tell the community? What sets you guys apart in Iberia Parish? Um, well, first of all, we are locally owned, so which is great. We're not a corporation. Um, we have a um, couple owners, that's it. So, you know, we can kind of help people with different things um, that don't fit that package. Um, you know, certain people need certain things. Um, uh, I, th I think just our staff is great. We have a great staff, our care. Um, the residents here are like family. So when you come in, I think the first thing that you feel is it's a homey environment. Um, you're greeted at the front desk, you know, um, and, and it's just, it's a great homey atmosphere. And that's our goal, that's our goal. You, you'll know the first time you walk in that I can stay here forever. <laughs> That's an amazing, amazing feeling to have you walk in. It I, is. I think I can speak for a lot of when we walked in. I felt like I was walking into somebody's living room. Yes. It yes. did have that yes. possible. And that's our, that's our goal. That's our goal. So what are the different types of care packages for the new system? Okay. So I'm going to let you know that sometimes when we have residents come in, um, some people don't need any services. Um, they're physically able to do what they need to do. They just need a safe environment. We also have um, different people that come in and want the different levels of care. Uh, we have three different levels of care. Third being the highest. So that will include all your uh, bathing, making sure that you're uh, up in the morning, making right. sure that you're dressed for breakfast, dressed for supper. We help you at night. We do bathing three times a week. Um, we do um, our escorting and activities. So we will escort you to meals. We will escort you to activities, uh, incontinence care. So whatever you need, we will take care of that. Level two backs off on some of the activity, uh, on the escorting. So we might not escort, but we do have the bathing and movie and stuff like that. Level one is just basic daily um, assisting with, like if you could need a plate number, if you need your pants zipped, if you need your shoes tied, we will do a standby and do that. So we can also customize, which um, is great because we're locally owned. Um, if you just need bathing services, then we can just need a different bathing charge. We can put some things that maybe you don't fit in that package and, and make it to your home. Because each each person is different when they come here. And it's, it's very amazing that you guys recognize that, that you are truly seeing each yes. resident as an individual. We are. And individual. We are. Everybody needs different things. So they might not fit in that category or that level of care. So we're going to put it to where we can help you the most. You know, it's one of those things, as the Chamber of Commerce, we always want to help our businesses in the Parish, and it's it's nice to hear that we have two local business owners who own this who own this community um, in taking care of the residents, mm -hmm. and that it's not simply a, a corporation. Correct. Because I think for a lot of people, they feel like when it's a corporation, that it has a cold feel to it, exactly. and that it's very rigid. Right. And so it's nice to hear that with a locally owned business, that there is some flexibility in mm -hmm. how you take care of your yes. residents. Yes. Yes. And that's what we like, and I think that's what the people who want to do the care. So if someone was interested in getting more information for their family member, how can they find more of you? Okay, so we are located at 1000 Dorby Lane uh, behind Squirrel Run. Um, you can also visit us. So we have a great Facebook page with all our activities and pictures of your family members, and it's a, it's a great tool that we use constantly. Um, you can also look up our website, waterview.org, and you can actually look up our three different communities. Uh, we have one in Lafayette and Baton Rouge, so you can get that information as well. Or you can call here, 337-364-2266. Great. Thank you. So now we're going to take a tour and check out a few different areas of our assisted living. Come on home. Come on home. So now we're here in the library. And tell us a little bit about all the different okay. so activities that you have. They can come in here, um, read books. As you see, we have tons of books. Uh, we try to get large prints because that's what they ask. We also have a community reference board, so if anybody needs any kind of different services. We also have Bible study in here every Tuesday at 1030, which was started by one of our residents. We also have a little pool table hidden under here for people to play uh, chess games and whatever you want to do in here and just kind of sit and relax. Awesome. 
All right, so welcome. This is Miss Verna's room. And this is Miss Verna. She graciously has uh, allowed us to come in here and just film her room. Um, she has a large one bedroom. So what makes her room a little different is the length of the bedroom. But everything is pretty standard in a one bedroom um, kitchen, dining room area. Um, ceiling fans, blinds, everything is all included in here. So Miss Verna has been here 12 years. That is awesome. 12 years. So It's my home, really. <laughs> So this is a large one bedroom. I think this is bigger than my house. <laughs> my room. <laughs> so really spacious. Um, if you needed any kind of two beds in here, you can also do that as well. Oh, you definitely have room to fit two definitely, beds for sure. Definitely. So this is a great room. And in here we have bathroom, um, closets. I won't open it all the way, but big walk-in. Also have walk-in shower. Uh, everything is handicap accessible, so a lot of good stuff, a lot of good stuff. Closets, plenty of closets, plenty of room, plenty of room. Wonderful. So you've been here 12 years, Ms. Vernon? Mm -hmm. Wow. And you've enjoyed your stay here? There, this is my home. I was just telling you, uh, I'm from Laurelville. Okay. And uh, I pass where I used to live, and it doesn't affect me. I love the place where right. I was, but this is my home. When I say I want to go home, yeah. this is what so you have a, a good amount of friends that you've made over the years here? Oh, God, yes. <laughs> Twelve years, I have two folders. One that most of them still live and one that they were gone. Many, many have gone to the mm -hmm. Wow, that's wonderful. I think I know everybody. I think so. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Vern is kind of our little mother hen. <laughs> no, the, uh, the daughter that's here more, she says, <laughs> when is that that? If I know somebody, I know them, and I'll go meet them. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> it's wonderful. Good. It's wonderful. Good. Well, it was so wonderful much. to meet you. It was nice to meet you. Oh, thank you so much for allowing thank us into you. your space. Thank you. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you, Ms. Verna. Have a great day. Thank you. So now we're here at Garden View, and we're going to be filming a two bedroom apartment. So a lot of people, um, the reason they use um, rent a two bedroom is um, if they are married, um, some people are hard of hearing, and so they like the TV really loud <laughs> and don't want their spouse to hear. You'll have different you know, spouses that'll be in each room. Um, also, the resident that we had here before she moved uh, and went back with her daughter, um, she uh, had an office in here, so, she was able to do her own personal stuff and you know whatever um, we also have people that use this as a big formal dining room or a guest bedroom so we have family coming in here uh, they stay with mom they stay with grandma we have grandkids come and stay here with garden view so we we get pretty familiar with, with the family but that's a lot of reason why people do two bedrooms and um, they have a lot of stuff and people sometimes don't like to get rid of their stuff. Oh, it's nice yeah. to have the option. It's nice, to, nice have the to have the option. And we provide that. So wow. it's great. Yeah. Wonderful. So now we're here in our memory care, care community. community. Yes. <laughs> so walk um, us through. This is our here. living area. So uh, if they don't want to come up front, then they can sit here and visit with their families. We have 12 apartments back here. Um, so we also have our separate dining room that they can eat if they don't want to go up in the front and eat with friends. So um, we have music, we have all the activities that they can do back here. Um, it's key code, so if we can walk outside, we can do that. So they have their own private courtyard. Correct, they do. Wow, it is really pretty out here. There's no flowers yet, but we're working on it. Well, it's, it's, it is it's January, winter. so it's, it's winter. So this is great. They have a little walking trail they can walk. Um, it is fenced in, it is gated, so no one can get out and no one can get in. So that's a good thing. So the residents are protected. The residents are protected. No one can leave the premises. Um, if special care residents want to leave, um, they have to be escorted with one of our staff members constantly, 24 seven. They can't just walk out here alone. Right. They are accompanied with one of our staff members. 
Right. This is a very peaceful, it's peaceful very space. Peaceful. It, is, it is a peaceful oh, space. I was just going to say we that. We do trick-or-treating out here. Oh, um, we do Easter egg hunting I was going to say, this would be perfect for Easter oh, eggs. Oh, we have great. We have a petting zoo that comes here, and it's great. Um, we also have a few residents that have um, animals. So you are allowed pets here. So we have a few that have dogs or used to have dogs here. So they come out here and uh, walk and do all of that. So it's, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Okay, so this is our dining room. Um, every day at 10, they do exercises. So they're just beginning. Um, we also do uh, all our meals, breakfast, lunch, supper. We also do Christmas parties here. Anything that sometimes talks even we'll do here. Um, we also have a private dining room in the corner there that if you wanted to come and reserve that and have Christmas dinner here, Thanksgiving dinner, a birthday, um, we have that that you can reserve. You can also get your meals to go. So here we have the menu that is uh, posted every day. So today's a good day. Yeah, I was very impressed when I saw the lunch. <laughs> I was like, man, I wonder if we're going to be here long enough. Yeah, I, I can get y'all to go play because you're going to want that third place nutty broccoli salad winner. <laughs> you know, that's exactly what I was looking at. And what Melissa's referring to is from our chamber banquet that we just had last week. Gordon View Assisted Living won third place for their yes. nutty broccoli salad. Yes. So every day we'll have fresh fruit. The bananas are always the first to go. Of um, course. So you can get your meals to go um, as well as coming here and visiting and this is a good chance for you to come and make friends and just enjoy your lunch together. So this is our dining room area. Um, <clears throat> they have the courtyard entrance here so you can come out here, you can watch TV, you can visit. This is where we do music. This is where we do different kind of talks. Um, this is pretty much where the hub of, of where everything is here. So now we're here in the chapel area where we have mass. So Melissa, explain to us the okay. different activities that go on in here. Okay, so we have um, monthly mass uh, with Father Trimmy. Um, sometimes it's a different priest, uh, depending on who it is. Uh, we also have communion services at least two to three times a month. Um, uh, Father Trimmy comes on the first and the third Monday. Um, we also have ladies that will come in and do rosaries. Um, if it's a certain um, feast day, we try to get priests from the diocese that will come and, you know, stay an extra. Um, sometimes I'll even um, hold a rosary here, like for breast cancer month right. in October. We have a few residents that have been through that, so I will come and I will actually do a rosary and do it myself. Um, but this is where they do resident council meetings. This is, um, like I said, we don't do Bible study in here just because of the writing. Um, but if anybody wants to come and pray, anybody wants to come and just sit with, you know, our Lord. Um, we also, this is the place where we just held our first couple wedding on the 20th. So our bride processed in, our groom was waiting for her in the front. Uh, it was definitely a first for Gordon View for any community. So it was a great, great day. Um, we had a justice of the peace and now I just heard that they're going to get their marriage blessed. So that, that's that perfect. Awesome. That's great. So we do as much as we can in here. Um, any, any kind of spiritual things in here, this is where they come and just rest. That is wonderful. And that's awesome that they, I mean, to have a wedding in here, that's I would, unusual. Oh, must be. I would imagine yeah. unusual for any community. Yes. But to have one yes. and... It was a great, it was a great day. It was something that, I mean, we've never seen. Uh, we planned it like it was our own children. <laughs> you know, there was a lot of things to do, a lot of things to get ready for. So um, it, it was a beautiful day. It was just family. And then our residents got to enjoy the reception downstairs whenever they finished the ceremony. Wonderful. So pictures were taken. Um, it was just a fabulous day. Oh. Actually, one of our residents who passed away, his family donated the Stations of the Cross. I was just looking at those. Yes. So he wanted the residents here to remember him by. You know, And sometimes yeah. it, uh, families will do memorial services in here. Um, this is where their family's home was. They consider right. this, uh, uh, you know, a, a place where they lived, and this is where we want them to have the memorial, and so all our residents can enjoy that. And, and well, especially when you think about, you know, you have residents who are going to be living here for over a decade. Yes. Yes. You know, this this really is their yes, home, and so. Time. 
And so it's not just the resident who's connected to the community, That's right. it's but it's the families. Wow. We miss the families a lot. <laughs> a yes. lot. A lot. Yes. Yeah, they're part Wonderful. of our lives forever. Wonderful. I think I could speak on behalf of Ryan and myself that we were very impressed with what yes. Melissa had to show us at Garden View. So impressed that we actually did ask if we can put our down payment in now for our future unit because we could definitely see ourselves living there in the future. It was that nice. Yes, so. we, toured, we toured the church, yep. we toured the library, yep. we toured the beautiful gardens outside. Yeah, very. Um, I took a plate of food home, just we saying did. it was highly delicious, yep. including their award-winning broccoli casserole. <gasps> If you were at the Probably Chamber Bank I'm Banquet, sorry. you would know about that. Yes, yep. it was wonderful. So we had a great time, and we hope you enjoyed that little video. So if you have a loved one that might be in the need for assisted living, whether it's now or in the future, give Melissa a call or go by and visit. I think you'll be just as impressed as we were. So thanks, everybody, for watching today. Join us in on the Chamber's website, on our Live with Ryan and Andre show here on Facebook. Contact the Chamber anytime you need. We're always here for you. And we will see you again. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. That was good.